Things you can do with the vector rotate node. In this video, we will implement the function of the set rotation node through the combination of the set position node and the vector rotate node. The set position node is useful. It would be nice to have set rotation and set scale nodes as well. Apply geometry nodes to the default cube object and add a set position node. By adjusting the offset value, you can move the position of the object. If you add a position node and add a vector, rotate node to connect. You can rotate objects. How to give twist or bend effect to the entire object here. First, we need to increase the number of vertices. Stretch it with a subdivide mesh. Next, connect the position node to the angle socket of the vector rate node. It seems that something similar to the twist effect has been applied. You can control this by adding a math node. To implement something similar to the bend effect, we add a separate XYZ node and a combined XYZ node. The bend effect is implemented. Those who are good at math will be able to apply much more concisely. This video ends here. Thank you.